Queen Q coming with an update on New Orleans. Y'all may see my son run back and forth. Y'all may hear my kids, but hopefully they don't be loud so y'all can hear me. So we moved out here. We left Vegas May 5th. And we made it within 20 some hours. We did not stop to sleep um, in Albuquerque like we thought we was going to. We really took the 10 because I had to go back to Phoenix to go see my folks before I moved to the South. So it was a long drive. My husband actually drove y'all. He drove through Texas like when I got tired, he was like, all right, it's my turn. Go ahead, take a nap. Do what you got to do. Get some energy, you know, and then you back on the road. So it was cool. It was long, but it was cool. But yeah, we finally here. I love it. It got some craziness to it, but I really love it here. Like people are so friendly. Um... I've said this in my first video. Y'all know. Y'all know. People out here is just amazing. Some people out here is amazing. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But anyway. So yeah, we here. Um, We made it here. And I was trying to get my kids registered in school. So they have like different ways than they do in Vegas to get in school. They out here have to use this. They got to register with one app first. And then they have to register at the school that they are, we, we're going to put them in. They don't do zones like if this your area, this is what school you go to. My kids can go to school, shoot, in the West Bank or they would never be the East. But I'm going to say the East or they can go to school in Metairie as long as I can give them transportation or I can request transportation. But for right now, they are in school here, close because we still getting ourselves situated um but on my way to go to one stop one app because that's what it's called one app one of the locations out here okay let me go back a little bit so we got rid of our cars and we got a new car we got a new car a few days before we came out here maybe a week no two weeks before we came out here we get out here we on our way to the school somebody hit us oh uh, they hit us like didn't even look and just hit us and hit a parked car too not only did they hit us they hit and ran and sped off running red lights and everything no tags no nothing like i was in shock i didn't know what the heck i thought my husband had hit something no a car hit us then they got people honking the horn like y'all need to go this bitch almost excuse my language but this lady almost got cussed out because i'm like dude you know you just seen this car just hit us you expect me to go thank goodness it's only a fender bender like we're able to get it fixed nothing's wrong with the car it's just like a little dent scratches in the front that's fine i'm happy i'm happy that it was just that so i did not report it because we only knew the car make model and how it looked out here a lot of people do not have tags they have paper tags louisiana needs to get it together with them fucking paper tags like that's crazy almost everybody got paper tags almost everybody got paper tags it's crazy um so pods we went through pods y'all gonna see a video of the pods getting to our house in vegas and pods was the worst experience ever you spend three thousand for the smallest pie because i did not take my beds, I didn't take everything with me. I took like my business equipments and stuff, our clothes and you know, the stuff that we really need, the essential stuff. When I tell y'all, they told me that they was gonna have my pod being shipped to me within nine days. They did it, Mark. <laughs> I can see you too. <laughs> 
they did it. They did it. They was giving me the run around. I got so many different dates on my pod. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And by the way, I did not make it here in May 8th. We left in March. We left in March, huh? Mm -hmm. We left in March. So we've been here a minute. We've been here a minute. We did not get our pod until April 28th. They kept pushing it back. They kept saying they didn't know if our pie was in Vegas. They didn't know if it was out here. They didn't know if it was in transit. They charged me an extra month. Won't give me my extra month back because that's their fault. Then when we get to our pod, I'm going to put another video up of how we receive so how we our pie. Yo, we use straps to strap everything, right? I have my, my 60 inch TV is broken. It is broken. My china, my fine china, my glasses and everything is broken. Like, then they tell me I have like three claims out. Nobody have contacted me till later. I sent them a thing, a long message like, this is who I talk to. This is my claim number. This is this. And the person emailed me but never reached back. All they reached back is saying, oh, I'm off on these dates. So I still need to call. And then when I claimed about my TV, someone reached out and I sent them a video of my TV. I sent the model and they said, oh, well, it takes 30 days for us to investigate. I looked on Pod's website and they have so many complaints. Like there should be some kind of way we all protest against Pod's or have a lawsuit against Pod's or something because that was the worst experience I've ever had. Like I would, I'm so scared to use a U-Haul just to drive to state to state, but I will. This time I will, like, I don't care. I do not care. That was worst experience ever. Don't go through pods. I'm saying don't go through pods. Then on a positive note, so my husband, we've been here for like three days. It was it was pretty cool or whatever. And my husband get called for a job. He started the job within three days of us being here. Let me tell y'all, I am in a nursing field and this man makes way more money than me. <laughs> way more money than me. It is crazy. Like it makes me rethink like, is this nursing field for me? Cause this man coming with to double my paycheck it is crazy so i'm happy that he got it he's happy he goes to work faithfully like it's been rough y'all like i ain't worked for like a month my whole time here i actually just started just got hired and i started on the 16th so i'm still going through my orientation days because it's like the 18th right now but i end up getting hired at one of the auctioners facility that is a big hospital out here like they have so many companies out here in um in mississippi so i work for an auctioner as a unit secretary <laughs> i work at an auctioner as a unit secretary um i'm still a cna and uh, um, i'm still waiting on my license to transfer over to be an actual cna but actually i'm, I'm going to stay as a unit secretary because of school I just got accepted. Like, I just got this news today. I took a nap and I woke up and I was like, you know what? Let me check my email. I got accepted to the community college out here to do it. Of course, um, community college lets you in or whatever, but nursing, it's hard to get in. And baby, I'm in there. Like, <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. So, I am going to take the LPN out here. I feel like that's the right thing to do out here. Step by step, not just go my full three years for my bachelor's. So I'm, you know, step by step, little by little, so I can up my money, you know. And yeah, that's, that's my plan with that. Now, school for the kids. Y'all, it's been real tough huh Mari it's been real tough for them like they from Vegas they swag is like so different my kids look different like 
it's crazy how much attention they get like they get so much attention they got haters already like they've only been in school for three weeks three weeks because it was hectic just to fucking get them in school it was so much the process was crazy but been in school for three weeks my son got people like hating on him and shit my daughter got in a fight her first fight yes yeah, she tore that girl up let me, let me stop because i'm the parent and i know that ain't good but i don't care for bullying i don't i worked in a psych unit and a lot of people get suicidal about things like that like i don't care for bullying at all so my thing is if you getting bullied and they put their hands on you y'all already know y'all know because if you don't get them then i'm gonna get you and then you're gonna go get them that's how i was raised that's how i'm gonna raise my kids you better not come home telling me they put their hands on me and you ain't did nothing because if they if you let them slide that one time they're gonna keep doing it no not my kids no they know better they know better so yeah she ended up getting she they didn't suspend her they know this little girl is bad as hell they know she bad because they 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 even said it the school even said like this little girl is just she get in fights with everybody she starts mess all that like that i was so livid <laughs> that's all i can say i was livid i was i don't know because if i can turn into a kid me and maya my daughter would have been whooping i'm gonna stop yeah i even talked to the girl's mom which is crazy and the girl's mom even said that her daughter fights and stuff like she behaves badly so i just hope this little girl is getting love at home because it's got to be something for kids to be acting the way they do that's why i'm so open with my kids that's why whatever they tell me i'm okay i'm a i'm accepting everything about them like not too many parents is like that but we in a new generation Oh baby and it starts with home to be honest it starts with home it does you accept your kids if you can't accept your kids i don't know i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you accept them so they will be out of school june 1st yeah that's in a couple of days june 1st um, my son is 14, so he is legally able to work. He wants to work. He wants to do summer school. I don't know. All I know, <laughs> all I know is he wants to do something. So if he don't do anything, I'm making an oath, y'all. You see me, Mari? I am making an oath that as a family with their cousins, our cousins, as a family, we will go bowling. We will go skating. Me and my mom, we, we just talked about this upstairs. We will go skating. We will go do things for these kids so they can get out the house. Because my mama, my, it's really my husband's mama, but she's my mama, y'all. She's my mama. She knows it. He knows it. I took over. But we, we just don't want these kids in the house. And then we be in the house ourselves, like... That's my lady. We 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 about to make this summer do what it do. I'm telling y'all, they gonna enjoy this summer. We gonna enjoy this summer, y'all. It's oh, I start school this summer too. So, um, it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be very busy. But New Orleans have been good to us. There's some pros and some cons. I have not been out to a bar yet because I'm scared to. They do a lot of carjacking out here. Like, yeah, they say you can't get gas at night because people, my, uh, my battery, my thing was too full, so my video cut off. But anyway, so me and my husband, we was, it was last night, we was, um, going into the store when well, he was going into the store and this dude literally had a fucking ak-47 around his fucking like his chest and an extended clip 
on his hip and he walked in the store with that bitch he walked in the store so they must they're used to that or that store is okay with it but yo i was mind blown like my husband was like, yeah, we got to get out of here because I don't know what this man about to do. I don't know if he about to shoot in the store. I don't know. We, let, we had to go. We had to go. Um, What else should I talk about, Mari? What else happened? Do you want to say anything for the kids? Yeah, we didn't. We only been here for like a month, a little over a month, almost two months. Um, it's been good for us, but I will finish my videos doing um, school. I will do like nursing videos for all my people trying to get into the nursing field. Um, y'all do a lot, like, I don't do a lot, but I do do a lot. I don't know how to explain it. But y'all, please like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to do. Do, um, I will write back. I will do all of that. But y'all, please like and subscribe these this video, and I will keep you posted on my New Orleans moving to new orleans y'all oh another thing i found out when i when i got out here i found out that my brother has a baby on the way my brother on my mom's side it's just me and him i am so excited like i really want him to have a girl because i have three boys and one girl and we have so many boys in our family like I want him to have a girl. Um, this little girl. I'm manifesting it, y'all. This little girl will be spoiled by her auntie. Like, y'all don't understand how much this means to me. My mom passed away last year. Um, her birthday is next month on um, the 17th. So, I feel like this is going to be my mom. Like, she's coming back as my mom. So this little girl this even if it's a little boy this little human being that is forming in my brother's my brother's you know girlfriend's stomach that's 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 gonna be my baby low-key yeah my baby and i told them that they know it so they they better not even give me no shits about it because those that's my kid yeah since i can't have no more kids that's my kid <laughs> all right y'all like and subscribe comment whatever you want to do i'm here peace